Hey guys, welcome back to Snorkel. It's Daniel and Johnny. Johnny. Uh, we just got back from seeing the Lego Batman movie. Yes. Whew, man, before we jump into it, thank you guys so much for all the views the last couple of weeks. Our Beauty and the Beast final trailer reaction video was our biggest video ever. I think we just passed 20,000 viewer, viewers for that one video. Um, we got tons of shitload of new subscribers. Yeah. Thank you guys. We're so happy to have you. Yeah, we're we're we hope we can. <laughs> we're so pleased to have you guys. Um, now that we've passed, I remember when we got like ten or twenty and thirty. I was like, holy shit! <laughs> now we have like two hundred and fifty something, which I know isn't a lot in the grand yeah. scheme, but it's still amazing. I guess onward to five hundred and a yeah. thousand probably potentially. Hopefully, sometime. <laughs> it's just weird knowing people actually want to see us talk. Yeah, it's I really us, us dumbasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing is I know people actually took the time out to watch and click on our video. And not only watch it, but comment, like, and actually subscribe to our channel. That means a lot to us. It really does. The original Lego movie came out a couple years ago now. Yep. Um, now, I actually didn't see that in theaters because I was like, really? A Lego movie? <laughs> but I ended up seeing it on DVD afterwards, and holy shit. It's a brilliant movie. It's a gem. It's like a hidden gem. You would never think that a Lego movie would be good, but it was super, super good. Yeah. That's why I was so excited to see the Lego Batman movie. They, they packed a ton of, like, different properties into this movie and like introduced tons of characters and did them all pretty much justice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's similar to the Lego movie in that respect because there's a bunch of characters and then they come from a bunch of different properties and the way they factor into the story is like kind of meta in a lot of different instances. Yeah, yeah they include like all of the basically Batman like properties from the future basically at one point in the movie or another even though as far as I know the story with um, Robin in this movie is totally original to this movie as far as I know. The way they introduced him and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, but it still fit into the um, Batman universe. Yeah, Dick Grace in this movie is not your typical Dick Grace. I mean, it, and Batman himself isn't even Batman. It's, I mean, it's a parody film. Yeah. So, but I, I thought it works. Um, Will Arnett was really good as Batman. He was great in the Lego movie, and obviously he was so good that he got the spinoff. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Cera was, was Dick Grace and Robin. Mm -hmm. He was really good. Uh, Rosario Dawson was Batgirl, uh, Barbara Gordon, mm -hmm. and she was a she was a big role in the movie. She was bigger than I even thought she'd be. Um, Alfred, Ray Fine, he was really good, of course. And a bunch of others, and a bunch of, even Channing Tatum, you know, showed up again as Superman, Jonah Hill as Green Lantern, so it was, it was a blast. Now, they did not shy away from any Batman mythology whatsoever. They, like, included, like, pretty much all the... They hit on everything. The Nolan movies, the old 60 TV show. BVS. BVS was in there for a second. They had a Suicide Squad reference. Yeah, they did have a Suicide Squad reference. Um, they, there, they even talked about Iron Man a couple of times. Yeah, there's a lot of, and apart from the references, just the way it's written, there's a lot, and there's a lot of irony in, in the way they go about telling some of these jokes and including these certain things. They just pack so much into this. They include like every DC property you can imagine, every Batman bit of mythology, and also added on top of it with a new storyline for Robin. One of the things that really stood out that I didn't like was the Joker and that storyline. Oh, Zach Galifianakis, I totally forgot. Zach Galifianakis played the Joker. What did you think about that story arc in particular? Because I really did not care for it. I thought I thought it was a funny twist on it. I mean. The Joker's gonna be in a Batman movie. I mean, it's just kind of a given. Yeah. And so when I knew that he was gonna be in this, they had Galifianakis doing it. I was like, okay, that'd be cool. And then the way that they do incorporate him, it, he is the main villain. But it's just it's he's they definitely play against like expectation. Mm -hmm. And it's I thought it was funny. I thought it was pretty original. I just I just couldn't get into it as much with with how they handled the Joker situation. I understand why they did it, and it's very kid friendly. Um, but. Just seeing how, like, with Jared Leto's Joker and Heath Ledger, and, like, every way that they've ever portray portrayed the Joker, I just couldn't get into it how they played it. But, again, the movie overall, besides that one thing, was really, really good how they handled um, Bruce Wayne's history, Batman's yeah, history. Yeah, they did a cool job. It, yeah, it is a Batman movie, but they do Bruce, the, the Bruce side of yeah, his personality. Really good. Definitely, um, they definitely played up a lot, especially his personal relationships with Alfred, and his parents, you know, that obviously were killed years ago, mm. and Jim Gordon and Barbara Gordon, of course. And that was cool to see that kind of dynamic between Bruce Wayne and Batman and kind of have it having that uh, side explored in a way that has definitely not been done before. I don't know how they did it. I know um, this is the Lego Batman movie underneath the Lego slash Warner Brothers banner. Um, but they had tons of references from tons of different properties that were nothing to do with Batman yeah. or Legos <laughs> or whatever. They referenced Harry Potter pro had the Harry Potter property, the Lord of the Rings property, old like like monsters that you would never even think of. WB obviously has a lot of you know IPs underneath them, 
And then even over the past decade or so, they've had Lego games based on those films and stuff like that. That was the first thing I thought. It, not only is it Warner Brothers, but also Lego has worked with most of these over the last 10 years. Yeah. Or so. There were some other ones I'm not going to spoil, but like every DC character is covered. Let's jump into the uh, scores real quick. I give this, uh, I was on the fence. Overall, besides a handful of things, I can't really fault the movie whether or how much I like it or not. It was actually really good. It was really well put. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. I they think I think they did it justice, even though it was a parody. Yeah. I think they did the character justice. They introduced like tons of history and mythology yeah. and all these different characters and did them all justice. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. And I had a smile on my face pretty yeah. much the whole movie. Yeah, um, I definitely agree with you. There were some flaws with it and. There are things maybe I didn't like as much as, you know, kids would or people that, like, were looking for this kind of movie. Mm -hmm. But I give it an 8 out of 10 as well. Yeah. Um, really well put together and... No major flaws. I will say, the first 15 minutes of this film, I was fucking hysterical. Like, I was laughing so hard. It's just, the, the first 15 minutes, there's an opening event, of course, and... It's just, the way they wrote it, I just, I was like, holy shit, the rest of the movie's like this? This is like a 10 out of 10. But it, it did, it wasn't quite like that good. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're a fan of the character and the mythology, you re you've read the comics, you've seen all the other movies, mm -hmm. you'll get so many references, there's so many cool Easter eggs, and even, not just Batman, but like you said, Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, it's a pretty damn good time. Yeah, it's a good time, no major flaws, like I said, nothing to really, once you start Nick pitting, Nick, Nit? Picking? Once you pick your nicks. Yeah. <laughs> Once you start picking it apart like, and just look for little things, you know it's a good movie. Um, that's pretty yeah. much what, what it is. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's, and it's like I said, it's good if you have a little kid or even if you're just an adult that likes that type of stuff. Go see it. It's a really good time. Not quite as good as Lego, right? The original Lego movie? I, the Lego movie to me is like a 9 out of 10. Like, that's pretty yeah. fucking they're, they're very close. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and please comment and like this video. We have tons of more stuff coming. The next month and a half is just packed with uh, reviews and different reactions and stuff like that.